Good evening. Thank you. Uh, so, um, great that we've had a list of challenges on the board. We'll try to cover off a few of them uh, through the talk. Um, what I really wanted to talk about is it's exactly what it says on the tin, uh, how to survive and thrive the uh, property recession. Um, I am very much going to give you my view based on what it is. Uh, I'm an active uh, property investor. I started back in 1990. I've been buying property in every year since 1990. So uh, I've experienced uh, all the uh, various um, uh, phases of the property market cycle. And really, uh, my guide for, um, for the next few years is based on that. Um, I've invested all the way through the early 1990s, and it's a time which is very similar to what it is now. Over the next few years, I mean, we all know it's going it's to be very, very different from the boom that we experienced during the early part of the century. Uh, and this Survive and Guide fly, uh, guide is really about how to do exactly that uh, so that we can get to, this, to, the, uh, to the next 2007. Uh, and I'll share some views as to when that may be as well. Um, just a little bit about me. I started in 1990. Um, I went through uh, university, uh, did computer science. A lot of people in property seem to uh, get bored with IT <laughs> and uh, decide to do that sooner or later. I started my career as a uh, management consultant, worked for one of the big uh, six as it was then. And um, back in, uh, I mean, in management consultancy, it's a type of job, it's a type of career where you're never in one place. Um, mm -hmm. So you tend to move around a lot. So I bought my first property back in, uh, after graduation, I got a, um, a contract of employment from a well-known company, walked into a bank, they gave me a loan, bought a property in London. I was actually looking to live in it. But then I discovered that management consulting career takes you all around the place. So you never actually live in the property that you bought. Um, so I ended up renting it. And I ended up thinking, well, this is not a bad idea, so let's buy another one. And so it, well, so it continued, if you like. So I developed a portfolio of properties all the way through the 1990s um, and um, really just figured it all out. I mean, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I didn't know anyone in property. Um, owning property back in the early 1990s um, wasn't really a thing that people did in the corporate world. There was no one at work I could talk to about this. In fact, the type of company I worked on, worked for, it was frowned upon to have time-consuming hobbies. Your time should be spent uh, meeting your corporate objectives, not in terms of doing a time-consuming hobby at home, particularly one that made you additional money, which, uh, which could free you from uh, corporate trappings. Um, but that was very much the environment I was in, so no one to talk to. Um, the people that were in property um, tended to be, um, at that time I found them very old-timers that started in the 60s, very secretive about what they did, um, so it was very, very difficult to learn from anyone. So for me, it was just figuring it out as I went along. Um, fortunately, I did more things right than I did wrong. In 2001, um, I was able to quit uh, the corporate world and go for property full-time, um, continuing to build a property business. In 2005, I started, um, I wrote a book, uh, The Build Your Property Empire Home Study Course, and went on to... Um, deliver all sorts of training materials to really to share with people uh, the approaches to property which have worked for me over the years. Um, one of the things I do is um, I started a mentorship program back in 2005. It grew to be the most successful mentorship program in the UK. Um, and a lot of what I'm talking about comes from not just my experience, but people uh, who have benefited from this, this program. 